In terms of apartments, there's a lot of activity in the U.S. with apartments. There's so many guys building apartments, and I often wonder if there's going to be a lot of overbuilding. Even like in Florida, where they have massive inflow of immigration up through the other states. Am I worried? I don't think I'm worried, because if rents are low enough, you're going to attract renters to your, your place. There's a massive amount of money that's chasing apartment deals right now. They've come from funds, they've come from banks, insurance companies. So as long as uh, the economy will withhold in the States, I think that you're going to st still see a lot of apartment buildings being built. Will there be overbuilding? Maybe. But uh, right, now, right now, the market seems to be going tickety-boo which means that it's just ticking along. In terms of Canada, I think the most important thing you can do is to look for areas that haven't been overbuilt yet to enter into the marketplace and quietly enter the marketplace. Let's say in BC or a little place in Alberta. Um, I'm told that Fort McMurray is making a huge comeback and whether or not that's true, uh, I haven't examined that. But you know, Fort McMurray has the oil sands. Where are we going to be with the oil uh, position? I don't know. There's many ways to invest. You can be a builder and you can go out and find a lot and build. Or you can act as a general partner or a limited partnership where you can go out and buy a developer's uh, piece of the action so that you're not taking on any risk. So you put down $25,000 or $100,000 and you take a chunk of his partnership and you share in his profit. And the same thing, profit or loss. Or you can buy individual apartments, you can buy a duplex, which is a two unit, you can buy a fourplex, you can buy an eightplex, whatever you can afford. But again, location's the key. Uh, you have to have good location. You have to make sure you know who your renters are. You have to know who your demographics. You really need to do, do your homework. And if you happen to be investing alongside with an experienced developer, for instance, uh, I'm not promoting us, but I'm just saying that, you know, like we've built 12,000 units already. So if it was a builder developer like us, then you know the guys had a lot of experience. I think experience is the key. You want a good history with the guy and you want to know that the guy is honest and uh, as, they, as the day is long. Uh, schedule and budget are the two most important things when you're building. If you're not building schedule and budget, you re on schedule and on budget, you really have an issue.